Hi, Valder. Good morning, Amanda Clayman. Thank you for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Thank you for having me. I want my audience to know that you're a Prudential Financial Wellness Advocate and Certified Financial Therapist. Well, we need a little therapy on the Valder BB Show, so let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about what your work as a financial therapist entails? My work as a financial therapist entails helping people not only look at the what of money, you know, like having a budget and being able to, to save and invest for our future, but really digging into the how of money as well, which is how we go about organizing ourselves around those tasks, how we identify what's really important to us, how we maintain financial harmony in our relationships and keep good boundaries, and uh, finally, how we, we really set those up as long-term habits that can sustain us over time. Okay, Prudential did a, a financial wellness census. Could you give us a synopsis of that? The financial wellness census is so interesting, and it's one of the reasons that I really wanted to partner with Prudential, uh, because they're not only looking at our objective financial health, so things like what we owe, what we own, what we earn and spend, but also at our subjective financial health, so how we... we how confident we are about the future, how optimistic we are, um, how we experience ourselves going about managing our financial lives. And what they discovered is that the country is pretty evenly split at the moment with about 46% of us who are objectively financially well and 54% who are struggling. Um, but really interestingly, one in three of us, almost a third, don't feel like we have an accurate sense of where we stand at all. Oh, that's a big number. So just give us a little bit more of financial health and financial wellness. What does that really mean? Financial wellness or financial health, that's a way of really thinking about money in a holistic sense. So for too long, money has really been the domain of um, just what we think of as the rational or logical parts of money, those things that we, we should do. And all of us know that there are things that we should do with money that we don't. Um, but when we think about financial wellness, we're, we're not getting so attached to just one magic number or one specific one-size-fits-all outcome. We're thinking about how we integrate the things that are really important to us and what we need our money to be doing in our lives today with what's important to us in the future, and we can find a, a better sense of balance with those things. We're not just white-knuckling our way until retirement. Okay, to get that balance, what financial habits do we need to or can we easily incorporate into our financial lives to be healthy and well. I love that you said easier, Valder, because <laughs> I think that when most of us decide to turn over a new financial leaf, if you will, a mistake that we make is taking on too much too quickly. We look at money as just this problem to be solved. And really, it's the consistent behaviors that are going to get us over time where it is that we want to go. So it's important to start small and, and to keep an eye on consistency. I really like to recommend that people have money dates or, or think of it as a financial management practice that's a regular part of your life. Um, schedule this in your calendar. Your calendar is your best financial app. And have a beginning time and an end time, and then follow up with a reward. And that is really going to reinforce this sense of, of money being something that's positive in your life, as opposed to something that's really emotional and overwhelming and draining. OK, I like that. Any more tips that my audience can walk away with today and do and, and, and see a change in their lives? Well, just like the one third of people who don't know where they stand, one place that they can start is by just figuring out where your starting place is. And you can go to prudential.com slash state of us in order to take this really quick, easy three minute self-assessment. Um, Identify where it is that you stand and, and start to think about those financial values and what's important to you so you can start to build a roadmap for how you're going to get there. As a psychotherapist and money coach, Amanda Clayman is widely recognized as a leader in the field of financial therapy. Take her advice. I think it'll make a difference in all of our lives. Amanda, thank you for coming on the Valder BB Show and helping us with an ongoing challenge. Thank you.